Hey guys, welcome to week 11, our solar system model. This week we're going to do a craft version on paper, um, whereas week 8 we did a proportional solar system outside with our balls and rings. This time the kids will be able to take this home and do some of their memory work review with a visual model. So in order to do this, every child will have a 12 by 18 um, inch piece of paper, it will be dark gray like this or black and also a two inch strip of yellow paper, which represents the sun. To start off, give every child their large piece of paper, their two inch yellow piece of paper, and some glue. Each kid gets their own glue to make it go smoother. You're gonna glue your two inch yellow to the very edge of your paper, and from there we're going to measure out using the chart on page 193 in our curriculum guide to um, to find where the planets go. For example, it says about two tenths of an inch from the sun is where Mercury will go. In each of your bins, um, there'll be baggies with the planets, so every child will get one of each. And it's labeled so you can just take one planet out, everybody measuring glue, take the next planet out, everybody measuring glue, and so forth. It ends up that Neptune ends up right at the end of our 18 inch paper, which is perfect. After the planets have been glued one by one, then you can go back and add some detail. Each child will get a page of star stickers. Each class will have a few glitter pins that you can add the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. And of course, throughout the solar system, if you wanted to add some sparklies, you could, but particularly the asteroid belt. And then use your crayons and colored pencils to make rings around the last four planets that have rings. Again, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune have fainter, darker, smaller rings compared to Saturn. The kids can also draw meteoroids, comets, practicing um, week 11's memory work. And um, I'll show you an example of a finished product. Would be here. So you have your sun you're then going to glue the planets one by one and then add your detail. So we've got asteroid belts, stars, rings. I did not add any moons around my planets, but your kids could if you have time. Uh, put a little meteoroid up here and um, from there. So you also can then have the kids label, the older kids particularly label the planets. The younger kids, if you want to put the first initial by each planet, you could or just have them point and um, be able to name them, uh, reviewing our names of planets. All right, then they can take this home. Have fun.